G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zhaboodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We're about to continue our Millionaire series into day 39. We're coming back trapped in the burnt out husk that is one of the apartments in the apartment building. I think I'm about halfway through the apartment building complex. I don't like being here. I want to get it done nice and quickly before I make one too many bad decisions and end up in the bottom of a grave somewhere. We've got to try and push on, finish off the quest, get the loot the top and then try and make some more money which is kind of the goal of the entire series i know but i want to try and start focusing on just like bulk looting raids rather than doing missions because now most of my missions are tier fives i think if i just go to some neck of the woods and just punch through as many pois as i can kill as many zombies as i can and take all their gubbins to sell i might make a couple more dollar redos than i would otherwise that's kind of the goal at the moment but first and foremost i need to finish off getting through the apartment building there's still some more challenges awaiting for me. No time to get complacent just yet. Ooh, a cheeky crucible and some motor tool parts. Thank you very much. Just scouring out the rest of the place to see if there's anything I've missed. I don't think there's much though. No, I've already been through there. That's okay. This is the other side of the wall. Not a brick in the wall. All right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We've been through some trials and tribulations uh, on this mission, haven't we? We've uh, definitely been thrown into the gauntlet to see what I can do. Shotgun back out. Ooh, is that outside? We finally made it to the roof. We can see clear, well, not quite qu clear blue skies, but some sort of blue skies beckoning me in, telling me it's all going to be okay. But it's probably a lie. I don't think that hoodie boy is a feral because I can't see the glow of his eyes. I don't think Mo is either, but with my severe lack of archery skill, I don't think I can kill him on the first drop anyway. And there's a copy boy just behind him. So let's try and get you first. Nice. I'm probably worrying my XP gogs for this to try and get as close to another level up as I can. Can I actually go like that? You're never going to die the first time, but you are going to die the second time. Quick fire, bow goodness, getting the job done. And now, actually, rather than try and tempt fate with a bow and arrow, let's just go like that. Salsifying brains left, right, and center. Don't mind if I do. It's always a bloody good time. That's where the loot is up there. I am ready, willing, and frothing at the bit to get up there and see what's waiting for me. I need some rewards for all my good work. I deserve to be patted on the back. If no one else will, I'll do it myself. I want to get up into the water tower. I don't remember if there's anything actually worthwhile up here, but I'll be remiss if I didn't at least have a cheeky crack at it. I don't think there's anything here, is there? Do you reckon there's something up the top? There might be. We'll have a look at that as well. While we're here, may as well have a squeeze. Have a gander. No, nope, nothing at all. Are you weak? Relatively. There's nothing here, is there? Oh! There is something here. Oh, I was about to give up hope and go back home. But now it turns out there's something sneaky deaky hanging out inside the old water tower. Cheeky hidden stash. What you got for me? I mean, nothing particularly exciting, but I'll take it anyway. Always happy to be proven wrong when you're going to give me gubs to make it worth my while. I actually truly don't know. I mean, I've, I've probably only raided the apartment building, oh, I don't know, maybe like two or three times over the journey just because I hate doing it. It's such an investment of time and often more likely to get me killed than get me good gubs. I did see a boz, uh, uh, sorry, a moz, didn't I? I did. Hit you like that. You can come on over and I'll hammer it in for you. Just like that. Wake up all your friends. But yeah, I don't... Oh, fuck. Oh, that was the wrong way. I don't remember ever actually getting in there and finding that bit of loot in there. I don't remember that at all. This is going swimmingly, by the way. I don't have my XP gogs on, which is heckin' rookie hour. Bit of lag, bit of death, bit of murder. Just, like, drop down and traipse your nuts, like, through the heaving mass of dead zombies. It may tickle a little bit, but I promise it's a good sensation. I just realized I don't have my uh, looting candy with me. I thought I brought it with me, but I do not. I was starting to think that now that I'm getting closer to the uh, the ceiling, it might be worth me uh, holding off on all of this loot until later, but if I don't have the looting candy, may as well get it now. Couple of repair kits, but I'll use you right away. One on the shotgun, and I suppose my axe is looking a bit worse for wear. Hmm... I'm going to hold on to you for a moment, actually. I'll hold on to you for now and see if I can come across 
Some of them might be worth more, uh, more worthwhile later on. Check the purse, sneaky bit of water, have a little bit of a slurp to cool yourself down. Yeah, nah, we're looking good. No more mups, no more clowns. That's okay. XP goes back on and break down the beds. We're still salvaging stuff. I still need springs, I'm not leaving anything behind. Oh, man. That was close. That was very close. He can't be hiding a bloody zombie inside the door frame that I have to walk through. Thank God I was holding the bloody shotgun when I came to that doorway or else I might have had a significantly different experience to all of that. That would not have gone well for me. Got a cheeky Nance. Now that I've cleared out the pillar, which doesn't look particularly structurally sound, I can have a crackature through the gaping hole. Anyone else? Nah, we're looking fine. Starting to get more and more loot hidden in the walls as well, which I'm kind of excited about, but if the game's going to keep throwing death traps at me, well, all the loot in the world isn't going to save me. Oh. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. I'm sorry. I don't know how much stuff just broke or what just broke, but that was a cacophony of badness ringing through my ears. Uh, I might come to regret that at some point. Hopefully it was like the ladder outside or something on the water tower that broke and not much else. Because if it was something more significant, I might be in a bit of a peril. Check you. I'm a little bit peckish actually, so don't mind if I do. You can keep that random bando though. Check the working stiffs box for another ratchet. That does actually give me steel tool parts. So I'll scrap you. You can just stack onto that one. That'll be fine. Um, yeah, you're only tier two anyway. I'm not missing a whole lot by getting rid of you, so that's all right. Uh, upstairs or through here? I feel like upstairs is cordoned off. It is, but it's got some bones for me up here. Scrap you. Don't need a spear, but do need your calcium. Thank you very much. I'm trying to take these apartments one by one as stealthily as possible. Doesn't always go especially according to plan. In fact, because I am running out of time so much, maybe I should be getting a little bit more aggressive with it. Oh, and splattering chops all over the bloody cornice of the wall. If you wanted a backsplash, bud, I could have got you a better one that didn't involve mostly a gray matter. <laughs> sinking into the ground between the tiles. Like, I'm okay with it, you know? I'm A-OK -okay with you redecorating. Just do it in a little bit when I'm not around to smell the fumes. Needle and thread in the trash compactor. Don't need seeds. Do need the thread. <sighs> Tier 5 wrench. I'm still, like, I still have that little flutter of excitement every time I get to raid a sink, because that's where you find a lot of the seed recipes or uh, food recipes. So every time I go there, I'm a little bit uh, frothing in anticipation, just that little bit, because maybe I might find my goddamn um, uh, super corn seed recipe. All I need to know is how to pluck the kernels off that ear and shove it into the ground. A little bit of water, a little bit of sunshine, it should grow for me, but apparently I'm not able to figure that out on my own. Some adulterous schematic, don't need the paper, got more than enough of that back home after raiding the paper mill. Ooh, some more food as well. I'm actually not hungry anymore because I've been eating a bunch of tuna and fish. That works. I'll save that for later. Oh, we're getting into the pointy end of it now. Not much more to go. One more floor. Lots of zombies to murder. Oh, changing goggles. Don't mind me. Just sort of swift ad eye change while you're all trundling about. Any others? No, we're good. Look at the view from up here, though. I quite like it. Maybe I'll come live here one day. Oh, and another T6 padded hood. I don't care what it is. I don't care what level or what is made out of. But if it's T6 got that purple streak, I am all bloody about it. Nothing else for me in here. No fake ceilings. Oh, cheeky trash compactor, though. You might have something good for me. Couple of bits of duct tape. Not gonna say no. The desk is already raided, so that's fine. Shotgun back out. Make sure the drum mag is completely chock a block with all of the boomy boys. Yeah, all right. We're looking good. We're looking fine. Anything in you? A book I've already read. Give me the fanfare again. I don't care how many times I hear it. The fanfare for shotguns is always a good sign. Ooh, as long as, as well as finding safes. Don't mind if I do. It's doing a good job of breaking all my lockpicks, which is super not exciting. There we go, though. You start complaining about it. The game hears your whining, or my whining, and goes, all right, I've probably dicked you around enough. I'll let you in this time. A bando mod and a terry. Uh, I'll scrap you for robotics parts, and I'll chuck... I don't have anywhere to stash the bando, do I? I think I have a spare spot in my armor. 
I like the effect doesn't stack, but at least I can just kind of put it in there and save myself some space. Looking pretty good though. Got four tier sixes, and we've also got that box downstairs, down <laughs> somewhere. One of the apartments around here has a box full of gubs still inside. I just need to go back and get that at some point. XP gogs back on. No one waiting for me in here, though there is a slight death drop. Oh, I take it back. There was someone waiting for me in here. All right, well, now his intestines are lacing that lamp over there. I don't need to worry about it quite as much. Do not need to worry about that, though. All right, a little less cavalier, Josh. Shotguns are great, but <laughs> your muppetry tree can only go so far. Got another wall safe, and instead of risking... I've got like 28 lockpicks now, actually. I was going to say instead of risking my couple of lockpicks, I thought I still had like six or seven or whatnot, but turns out I've been productive in finding a whole bunch of them, and we're looking relatively okay. I'll quickly check inside you and see what you got for me. Thank you very much. Loot and gogs are on. Tier 5 Steel Spear, you'll be worth quite a bit later on when I repair you and sell you. Steel, uh, steel Spear parts? I say that wrong every time. Every single time my brain's like, Steel Steer? No, that's not the way at all. Take you. I'm now chocolate block of gubs again. I'm turning all the wood I get into frames. The rest of the stuff's just taking up room, but I have a lot of it. I just realized I've gone through like a hundred rounds of shotgun ammo on this adventure. I need to lay off the shotgun pellets just that little bit. I'm a little addicted and it's not serving me well. That's serving me well though. Can I quickly murder you before you get all the way up and wake up all your friends? No, turns out not. Gonna have to get pretty brave with it then and murder everyone with just the club. Beat their skulls in with my new best friend. Got a farmer boy in the corner. I think you can die on the first pill. There we go. You did die from that one. The biker boy won't. Who else is waiting for me? There's someone in there, judging by the red dots. If I had the shotgun ammo still, I could just pop it open and then pop the zombie open, but got to find a new way to fight. Oh, that's a feral biker. I hate feral bikers. Oh, they're so scary. They're so fast and they hit so fucking hard. Just die, please. I know you've got a friend coming to back you up, but you need to die a little quicker. There you go. Now you can just cuddle or 69, whatever you guys are doing. Frothy recipe. I actually, oh, I can take you and sell you. I did find some more shotgun ammo as well. Only seven extras, but it's better than nothing. And now I'm down to having to pick and choose what I can take. Well, I don't need cloth fragments, actually. I have more than enough of that back at home. A book I've already read. Read you again. Don't need paper. I'm really, I'm really just desperate for the super corn recipe. Nope, nothing in you either. You're really letting me down here, game. Oh, how did I almost miss you? That's bloody hang average by me. Oh, and thank God I came back to check because we have a tier six hunting rifle. Another tier sixer. Um, what's going to have to go then? I'm a little peckish. Not much though, but I'll take that. Um, don't need feathers. I can take the baseball bats. I need to find somewhere to stash some shit because I am over bloody loaded and I'm about to get up to the good stuff as well. I've got the, uh, the little inclinations of where the rest of the zombies are going to be hanging out. I've got three more places to clear, but that's going to mean that whatever is in there is going to take some clearing. More lockpicks. Don't mind if I do. Some extra wool for some extra frames. Oh, I see an ants. I see an ants. One of the places is just this little, like, utility closet. There goes one. There goes the other. No one else waiting for me. There's some good loot up here, though. Maybe the apartment building is actually worth my time. I normally avoid it because I feel like it's not. But if you're going to be giving me good gubs like this, I might have to come back. You can go away. That can go away. I also got... I don't need 13 nitro powder. I've got plenty of that back home. What else am I stashing here that I can part ways with? I did repair my axe to free up the spot for my repair kits. There's not much, is there? Everything in here ha kind of has a use already. I could I'd probably turn that into duct tapes, but I'm... The problem is, though, that I need glue. I need glue. I don't need duct tapes quite as much. I definitely need glue, so sacrificing that for the greater good wouldn't be helping anyone, least of which the Small Town of the Year award. Some more duct tape there. I'll quickly pop you open and see what's inside you. Let me jiggle your guts around. Rearrange them a bit. I mean, that's less exciting. But I'll hold on to you for now. You're worth 100 bucks. Could be worth more later. Oh, I just want to, I just want a bigger backpack. And I know there's mods for it, but I hate having a pick and choose. Oh God. Oh, yep. We've got some rads to deal with. Hang on two seconds while I can just investigate what you dropped for me. Couple of NVGs and some ammo. Huh. 
This might be a problem. This might be a little bit of a problem. If you're not gonna fucking die for me. All right, we got, oh my goodness gracious fuck. We've got a lot of rads to deal with. Gonna street shoot you first. There goes your noggin. Four rounds left in my mag. I need you to die. Nice. Last round got the kill. He was having a heart attack either way, but if he had exploded, that would have been a bad bloody day for me. I did all that without my fucking loot and uh, XP goggles on. I'm hot out of ammo. Who else we got? Fuck! Who else we got? That's a vulture. Get out of my bloody insides, please. That's like when a bird gets in your classroom and distracts everybody. Bat's doing a good job. Sort you out. Who's left? Got a vulture somewhere. There you are. Come on, come play with me. Bonk! Sit you right back down onto the spikes like a goddamn shish kebab. Get wrecked, you pelican. You may have hit a mine, but now you're mine. This looks like that metallic clagging thing that I heard before that was breaking down. There's all sorts of like uh, metallic rubble about. 13 rounds left in my shotgun and got the main boss battle left to clear. That is not a particularly exciting set of circumstances. I also kind of wish I had some wood on me so that I could make myself a chest and chuck some of this shit down. In fact, I might have to. Let me just quickly grab you and bust down a bunch of these to try and get some wood back. I need 10 wood for a chest. I might be able to come and land my gyro up here and pick all this stuff back up again later. That might be the way to go about it. <laughs> it's not a great plan, I will admit, but it's kind of all I got right now because I can't take everything with me. You go there, you go like that. All you guys hang out in there and I'll come back and pick you up another time. So I've got one halfway down the building, one on the roof. It's gonna take some flying, but we'll see how we go. Before I go up and face the last of the zombies actually, wasn't there a hidden stash around? Yeah, there it is. Okay, up to you. I always had it going up like the way it's designed to be, like <laughs> mountain goating up the bloody lips of the edges here, up on the rounded pipe, which I mean, I'm uncoordinated as fuck. No idea how I'm actually managing to do that, but I guess that's why you play a role-playing game so you can live out the dreams that you could never do in real life. Hidden stash, loot and specs on. Barbed wire mod schematic. It is for bats, and I very rarely, I mean, I have some bats to sell down, but I very rarely have uh, bats that need modding, but I'll take you anyway. Might need to make you later on down the deck anyway. Squeeze on back through the little crack here. Uh, uh, no, I, I said squeeze through the crack. Come on, pucker it in and get through. All right, fine, fine. I'll take your insults and I'll go running. That was probably the easier way to go anyway. It's already half past one in the afternoon and I had to raid like half of this POI and time has gone heckin' quickly. Got one there and what looks like one on the other side. Who, ooh, that's a rad spider though. It's more worthwhile for me to get the stealth damage shooting you in the back of the head. So right about there. Nice and easy. All right, the other one should just be like a feral biker. Just a regular biker. All right, that's much easier to deal with then. Sit you down, bonk your noggin, sort you out. Job done, Ridgy bloody ditch made easy as pie. Fuck yes. All right, well, now it's just me and the loot ready to go. Open you up, you need to be picked. Oh man, that was an endeavor. Apartment building suck, that takes so long to do. I bet, I mean, I got some good stuff already, but I always want more. I'm never satisfied. Chest is open, so I'll just quickly open up. In fact, before I do this, I'll quickly grab the stuff on top in case I misclick somewhere and break this down. Uh, you're basically worthless. I'll, I'll take the rest, but I'll eat the cat food now. It's a weird sort of situation to celebrate and having a cheeky can of whiskers if you're gonna celebrate something properly, I suppose. Scrap, no, scrap you, there you go. All right, what have you got for me? Shall my box, just some honey, not the recipe for the things that I need. A pocket mod, that's worth a lot. Must I shove it into a tier six hood or something? Gubs in you, working stiffs, a chainsaw. I could repair you and keep you, potentially go cut down half a forest, but I already did that before, so I can sell you. Thank you very much. Tier 6 iron crossbow. Scrap you. I can sell you. I'll scrap you as well. Take the rest. Got some shotgun ammo again, which is very much appreciated. You can go back into your rightful spot just up there. And last but not least, hardened chests. Some mods, an SMG, a shotgun, the schematic to make a Terry. Don't mind if I do. Oh, and a fat stack of nuggies. You're only worth two grand for 30 silver nugs? You are not nearly as valuable as I thought you were. 
That is severely undervalued. Right, so now that we have the job done, I need to find a way to get down to my gyro, only to fly back to the roof to get all my gubs I left over before. Oh man, I wonder if I jumped off here and landed on the gyro, but pressed E before I hit the ground, would that hurt me? It's a heckin' bad idea, but I'm kind of tempted to try it. But you know what? We've come so far already, it would be silly for me to throw it all away doing some dumb shit like that. So I'm going to try and avoid doing something silly. Ooh, that's a, that looks like a droppable gap. Hup. Yep, hurt a little bit, but we're okay. Down to them. Is there another drop for me around here somewhere? Pretty please. I just need one more. Oh, actually. Hey, look. <laughs> there's, there's my box of gubs. I'll take what I can out of you. I'll come for the rest of you in a tick. <laughs> that's kind of uh that's kind of fortunate it just works out sometimes i'm hoping there might be another one of these but i can probably just check can't i go like that stick you there is there another thing for me to aim for down there not especially if i go like that drop down to them that should be enough for me to get to the window just down to that one like ow missed it but that's fine we didn't break any bones we're all good we're all good all right you are chock a bloody block I don't have enough space to, to, to go and get all the loot out of that. I just don't have the space to do it. Well, okay. In that case, I will go and get the rest of the gubs out of that chest because there was only a couple things left over. I can clear that one. I'll fly on home. I'll turn in the quest and I'll come back here, pop onto the roof and grab the rest of the gubs in a moment. Up to them. Over to that one, grab you, take that, and head on back down again. A successful raid, a long-ass raid, but we've got it done at the end. Never again, though. Tier 5's just not worth it. I'm actually just going to head home real quick, just so I can drop off all of the gubs that is in my gyro and my backpack all at the same time. Oh, that's coming a little low, I think. Judging landings in the gyros is always difficult. Oh, I almost binned that too. That's okay, though. You can all go into there. I'll grab the rest of you. And chuck you in as well. That's the wrong button. There you go. That's completely chockers. That's completely chockers again. How have I have got so much gubs on me? I mean, I knew I had a fair bit, a fair whack, but this is quite a lot. I have to use the second dumpo box that has other gubs in it still. Jeez, I need to sort my life out a little bit. There's some more shotgun ammo though, just in case I need it. Close you. I'll actually, you know what, I'll go back and get the gubs off the apartment building first and then just head up and see Trady Joel up to the north who's the one who gave me that goddamn quest. Huh. Right. I was expecting to have that quest done by like 10 a.m. this morning. It's now 20 to 4 in the afternoon. That is not going to plan at all. There's no especially good places to land the gyro. So I'm going to try and do is just go like this and land on like this concrete barricade. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Stop. 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 If you had a radio dial, you'd just swivel it back the other way. That's almost worked out perfectly. Because look, there's the box I needed right there. I can take you. <laughs> Don't want to load you up with too much. In fact, maybe some more gubs inside you will... Um, in fact, you know what? You know what? Hey, hey, I don't have enough inventory space for all of this. And there are traditions I have to uphold. Like that. Like that. Get out of here. Get out of here. I already got the crucible I need. I don't need an extra one. I'm maybe trying to make dollary do's, but ain't nobody got time for spare crucibles. Gotta throw it back into the wild for someone else to take advantage of. <laughs> I can't believe I landed like that. That's bloody, bloody ridiculous, but it seems to have worked out for us. So I guess all we have to do now is just try and take off again. Get your nose up. Get the power down. Try not to bang off the roof of the poopy man's day cam. Fail miserably, but we're in the air. Let's go see Joel. Goodbye, apartment building. Thank you for sparing my life. Plonk the old girl down. Oh, in a garden bed, apparently. Just get next to the car will be fine. That'll do. The easiest way to land a gyro is just to yeet yourself out of it because it stops on a dime that way. Uh, I'm still looking for dog food and stuff, though. There is some dog food about to get some money for doing the job, so I hope you're going to reward me adequately, old matey potato. Uh, it is trade potato day tomorrow, actually, so I've already checked all your gubs. Hello, What's going Trevor. on, big dick? Here is your reward. He is... Oh, my God. Another tier 6 SMG, just by itself, worth a measly three and a half grand. I absolutely take that one. Bandolier mod. I mean, it's useful, but I think that's going to be worth more money to me. So I'll take... Oh, a chainsaw, though. 
Ooh, and a chance. I mean, it's only tier three, but I can put mods inside you. But the mods aren't worth as much. Even though it's a high value item, it won't be worth as much because it's only a tier three. Mmm, but. Ooh, I'm not sure. I mean, just go to your dollar value. That is the higher value. So, okay, I'll take that one. Do you have any jobs for me? A bunch of tier fives that I don't want to do. A tier two fetch, only 200 meters really away. You, friend. Old no ranch. Matter what, I'm grateful for everything. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I've got time today. It's five o'clock. I don't have much time to do like a big raid, but I'll do a cheeky ranch raid. You bloody watch me. Uh, hold on to that and that. Give me... Where the fuck is my motorcycle? I didn't have my slots locked on my gyro, so it's over in my dumpo box back at home. God damn it. Well, we're just going to have to do some short flying. Try and get it done this way instead. Not the ideal set of circumstances, but we'll give it a crack anyway. Get your nose back down. I mean, this is a house, and houses have kitchens, and kitchens have a chance to give me recipes, so not all bad, I suppose. Chuck you down. Uh, you know what? Let's just go. Let's just go full express. Full express st uh, spec. Start you. XP gogs on. We're going raiding. We're going murdering. We're going slaughtering. But you have no idea what I've been through today. I've murdered many a zombie already this morning for goddamn breakfast. Like I'm shooting and grabbing, eating a freaking turd. You're all gonna die. You're all gonna freaking die. Scomo, you especially. Go on quick, go on fast. Oh, that's the kitchen. Don't use the shotgun in there because you might break down the, uh, one of the cabinets behind. And I need to raid those to find the things I need. The shotgun becomes a liability when things are a little bit more clustered. Quickly chuck on you. Check you. No, nope, nothing there. Where's your sink? There it is. Dang it. It's a recipe, but not the recipe that I was after. Ch grab the cheeky cooking pot. Don't need coffee beans. Anything else for me? Come on, please. Please, I've come so far just to get inside you. Oh, some sneaky dog food. I just want to be rewarded. Please give me what I'm after. Oh, it's already paid off as well. Another tier six gauntlet. So another fat stack of cash for me there. Uh, XP gogs back on. Up into the roof. Come on, fast up, fast up. There you go. I see you. Taking a moment to kill you nice and quietly as well. Didn't really need to, but got away with it. Is that it? Is that everyone who was up here? Bud, I feel a bit bad now. Maybe we're putting an arrow through your face is like putting you out of your misery. They just like stashed you in the bloody attic and left you behind. You're like a bloody Hugo. I feel so sorry about that. Where's your bucket of fish heads? Ow! Next! Uh oh. I'll shoot you in the dick, Scomo, because apparently I accidentally clobbered you through the wall. I did not mean to, but <laughs> alright. <laughs> the soggy flop. Scomo's specialty. Just go and limp and fall and backwards. I need you to die. Nope. I need you to die. There you go. Did I miss anyone else? I thought it was someone in the cupboard. No, but you're still alive? Ow! Jeez, you were one tough bitch. You fucked me up seven ways from Sunday. <laughs> Got big mallets for hands too. All right, that was significantly less exciting. You guys are already dead. I've missed the, um, oh, there it is. It's in here. Missed the supplies. Grab you. It wasn't even a fetch and clear. It was only a fetch. So rewards are going to be sparing. But I'm here for the loot anyway. Break down the bed first because we're still pining for springs. Ending behind you. Cheeky duffel. With just a glass jar. All right. Well, I've got my air, my loot and gogs on, rather. Uh, more shotgun shells. Thank you. I ran out last time, so I feel a little bit excited every time I find them now. Don't need that. Um, I just got the recipe to make something cool out of you, did I? I'll take you guys this time. Normally, I'd just scrap it for the iron. What's inside you? Gun store box. Tier 6 steel knuckles. Don't mind if I do. Uh, fortifying grip. Oh, another Terry. I lost my last Terry, but okay, I'll take you with me. Take that. Thank you very much. Are we good to go? Is this the way out? Is there anything sneaky out here? No, nope, looks like we're all right as rain. Let's go see Trader Potato, get our reward, buy the dog food out of his vendor, and get home. Let's bring it down nice and easy again. A bit further up the road isn't the worst thing, but that's about far enough. Had to get close enough to grab to not hurt myself even more than that bloody biker boy did last time I came through. Got the money, so I'll buy you nice and quickly. Everything else in there is relatively spoken for. 
You're not going to give me much for this, I know, but I'm doing my best to try and do my part now to be a citizen of the world. Uh, mm, none of that's exciting. None of that's exciting at all. You're worth a bit. I'll take you. And I think I'll take... I did just pick up a sh uh, shotgun, so... All right, I'll take that one. No other exciting jobs. She is knackers. I might see you tomorrow because it is Trader Potato Day. Although, I have lots of tier sixes that need mods before I should be concerning myself too much for going and selling. I've got all those hammers and wrenches and whatnot that need a mod in them first. Maybe I'll just like stave off going to see Trader Potato until I can sell everything. And I'll just sell out the extra gubs instead. Coming in from a pretty steep angle. Oh, this might be a little bit dicey just to land on the end of it. Oh, about that. I, la I landed on the gyro and it, I cushioned my landing. If you saw that, you would think that was about as perfect a landing as possible. You wouldn't know that I just binned that and somehow ended up okay. Nice. All right. Well, <laughs> screw you using the actual ladder I built for myself. Just go the old fashioned way. Now, I need to sort my life out. There is a nice fat stack of 400 grand in there. 406,000 now. But I had some more money left over in one of these boxes, didn't I? Yep, there it is then. Chucky into that one. 411,000 now, looking bloody good. Right, I just need to sort my life out. Tier six is going to them. I'm not sure what to do with Terry. I might just leave you in the weapons box at the moment because you might be able to come with me and serve me a purpose over at the Horde base because we are getting closer and closer to potentially having some demos showing up and we all know how Terry feels about demos. Loves to slap their nipples like their bloody slices of salami on his pizza. Um, you can go into them. Ammo can go. In fact, everywhere. I've got the buttons for a reason. I don't have to think about this. I actually just have a ludicrous amount of gubs to go through. I haven't gone through all of my dumpo chests yet. That one's still got half its gubs still hanging out inside it, but I wanted to make sure I went and cleared out the um the gyro first. Chuck all you guys away. Make sure those stash and uh, tier sixes even away if I don't need to be. They'll go in a tier six box instead, which is just them. In you guys go. The SMG as well. That's a lot of tier six gubs. That's a lot of money to be made there as the nighttime does fall. You guys can all get sold. Mods and parts. You go into them. Steel spear parts can be sold as well. So there's a lot of stuff to get through. I have a lot of gubbins. It's all over the place. Ah. Oh. I didn't, I thought I left my motorcycle in one of the dumbo boxes because I didn't lock my slots. That was true, but my motorcycle was just hanging out down there. Although I am starting to think, so I now have, I have the ability to make all the 4x4 stuff. It's reasonably expensive, but it's very expensive for that, and you need a shitload of forged steel. I was considering making one of those just for the extra storage so I could like fly to a place and like bang about. Oh, look at the look at the density of the buildings up here, actually. That might be the place to go. And just like do like a whole a whole block. Just go bang, 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 and start working through to get all the loot in all of them. That's kind of why I wanted the Jeep, so I could like just like fill the, the boots with all of that goodness. But the motorcycle and the gyro work pretty well because the inventory spaces are about the same. And I don't want to have to drive a Jeep all the way back here. That's just way too tedious and way too long. So, nah, stuff it. Instead, what I'm going to do, give me some frothies, give me some dog food, give me some red tea and some acid, which is in here now. I think I moved it over. Did I? Yes, I did. There it is. And quickly churn out for me a bunch of learning elixir bunch of you make a cheeky fall i had none before but now i found some dog food now we're looking good while i'm waiting for that i'll repair the tier five stuff like i got oh tier five pump shotgun actually that's ready to be modded out i i might i could try and hold out to find myself a tier six shoddy but i don't think my chances that are particularly fantastic uh the chainsaw definitely needs a repair because we're now worth a lot of money um you the leather stuff I'm not sure if it's actually worth me repairing. You're worth a hundred bucks already, but like you're not, oh, actually you're worth a little bit. Mm, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, repair both of you. Steel stuff, always get repaired. That pump shotting as well. Just try and pick and choose the stuff that's really worth my time and run out of repair kits. Damn it. Was I making more somewhere or if I use my allotment? I may have. Damn it, gonna have to make some more. See, the problem with making repair kits is it uses my duct tape, which I do need to make an assorted array of my mods. And like basically everything else in the apocalypse as well, even for a freaking M60. Kind of makes sense. How else would you strap shit together? 
So I don't want to use it too really nilly, but I definitely do need those repair kits. So let's not use all of it. Let's just go like, maybe it was like a cheeky 15. I think that's probably about the right amount. You guys can go back into them. And while I'm waiting for that, what else in here can I put some mods into? I've got my tier five pump shot in. I had a tier four as well. I'll grab you. Um, everything else I think is pretty much right to be sold as is, except you actually. Uh, anything steel needs to be as good as possible. There's the next one. Um, anything else be left behind? You can be repaired. I think that's going to just about do it. How much are you worth? 2,000 and 1,300. That's pretty good. Nice. So, what are my pump or my shotgun specific mods? You, you, and... That's it, actually. I think that's all I've got for shotguns in particular. I'm running very low on mods. I need to make some more, which is why I need my duct tape. See, I was going to try and make myself another mod just to fit in the end of the tier 5 pumpy, but it is only a tier 5. I need to get not too carried away about that and obsess about making it full because it's not my highest value option anyway. I'm just excited about it because it means I get to clear out all of the um, the random shotgun mods that I found over the trip. So you're now fine. You guys can go back away. What I do need to do though is repair all the tier six stuff I've got that isn't full spec. Like that tier six rifle there, for example, can take the eight times scope mod, which I would have no other way of using. So get you guys going as well. I can maybe fully flesh out another couple of tier sixes with the mods I have available right now, but I really need all that glue to start making all the mods that I need to fill up everything. All of these and another tier six rifle as well. I didn't even bloody realize that. I've got more gubs than I know what to do with. That's just got a regular ergo grip mod on it. So I'll modify you because I can go into a tier six one instead. Anything in here that has mods in it, shotgun aside, I need to pull the mods out before I sell them. But I don't think there's much stuff in here at all that does have mods. I'm usually pretty fickle about that kind of stuff. Uh, I think I'm pretty much good. All right, you can go back into them. All my tier six stuff can go back away as well. Uh, yeah. So it is trading potato day tomorrow, or rather today, but I think I want to go raiding more. I'm, I'll i sell all this stuff, all like the random garbage I've got just to free up my sellables box. But the tier six stuff, I guess I'll sell you too because you are full out, but I need to start focusing on getting these as good as possible. Some of them have like, a, like scattered mods through various places. Are you really not worth that much? I thought a tier 6 steel knuckles, given it's the top of the line of the knuckles tree, would be worth considerably more than that, but... Alright, I guess not. Give me you, and give me you, and both of you guys too, because armor's the easiest one for me to start specking into and leveling up. Uh, don't need that one though. Give me you guys too. This should be fine. I only had the mods to fully upgrade one of my tier sixes. These guys are still missing a couple. I just need like one more mod, insulated lighter mod, or anything to go into there to make that good, but I'll deal with that later. I will sell these. I've had them for a while. I've been trying to like, in my mind, I've been like, oh, if I find like a cowboy coat or something like that, I'll use it for that one to make some more money. But I keep forgetting to take that stuff home with me and I scrap it instead so they can just be sold. You are the full one. You go there. You guys go back up to that one. Still need a couple more mods here and there, but we have an assortment of tier six cubs that need some love. No, that was the wrong bloody button. Damn it, I always saw things by accident. Uh, and you and you, that's good. You guys are both at soon. Nice, if I come with me, I'll just chuck you in the sellables box for now so I don't lose you again. Got a full box to sell. That's gonna make me some dosh. What I'm actually gonna do, just for my own sanity, I'll quickly grab those ones. Need to make myself a storage box. Quickly grab you and just punch a hole just there because like the parts are fine. They're, they're in the right spot, but it's just kind of confusing all that is this box. I'll just have leave it for mods. Don't need dyes in there either. So only mods will be in that box. You can have that one and that one. I'll actually just scrap you guys for paint because I can't bother dealing with your shit right now. Here's the other one. Wait for it. There it is. Chuck you away and put you up in that little slot. And you're just going to be the parts box to make my life way easier. Parts like that. You can have all of these ones. I can sell these for quite... Oh, actually... I can sell them for quite a lot of coin, and I don't have any specs into any armor, so it's kind of redundant that I have this going for me. Like, steel club parts, yes, that's useful, but 
Military armor parts? I don't think so. Give me you. Give me you as well. I'll sell you both. The rest of you guys are fine. The rest of you guys are fine. It might be useful later on. Sellables is full though, so I guess we'll just have to hold on for, uh, to it for the moment. That's kind of okay. So I think... What do I need to do? So I've got lots of springs there. How many springs did I come home with? 300 of them. In fact, I think 300 is exactly what I needed. I still need a shitload more glue. So I'll grab you and you guys and churn out a couple more of those ones. My pursuit of mods is getting ridiculous. Glue, uh, fuel, that one. How much do I need? 36. That's nice. Harvesting all the corpses turned out pretty okay. Six minutes of fuel. So I'm going to have to leave this episode here. And then tomorrow, what I want to do is I want to go and raid that place. Raid the other um, Fates Motel because I know there's some good loot there. And I can do it all with one looting candy. I'll do that. And I think while I'm there, I'll punch through... I don't know, these joints here too, whatever else is around, try and get as much loot as possible to go and sell. But that is after I go and sell all of this gums to start with the trade potato and make some money. But I'll have to make that money in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.